Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to my Wacky Make A Do video number two. So Wacky Make A Do is an idea and launched by um, a concept make along, have some fun by Laura at Mad Mimi's Farming and Crochet. And I thought it was a great idea and I have been taking part. Now I made one video on January the 1st for Polar Pear Plunge Day. Now it was a little dark and it was food art. I did warn people it was dark. I also said that people, if they gave it the thumbs up and left some great comments, I would donate some money to an animal shelter here in Cairns, which I did because there were some great comments. There was also a few people who let me know that they didn't like what I had done, which is fine, but I did warn that it was dark and not everybody's sense of humor. And yes, I do know polar bears are dangerous animals. Um, they are ferocious appetites and they can kill and maim and all those things to do with a big wild animal. And I have seen them in the wild and hunt. I've watched them hunt and eat something in 20 minutes. So yes, I am aware what polar bears can do, but they are still my favorite animal on the planet. So video number two, wacky video number two. What did I come up with? Well, it's March the 26th and March the 26th is a day where you can choose your own holiday. The idea of the Make A Do is we look at the national and international holidays and you pick a day and you do something wacky or humorous to celebrate that day. So March the 26th is pick your own holiday. And I thought this was perfect for me because I have decided to make it the annoying pest day. Yes, it's the annoying pest day. So here in the tropics during the wet season, we get inundated with cane toads and I dislike them. There is no reason for a cane toad to be alive on this planet. They are ugly, yucky, and they breed prolifically. And yes, they're an annoying pest. I've done a bit of research for you because, um, so for those who don't know what cane toads are. So here goes, the cane toad is also known as the giant um, neotropical toad or marine toad. It's large, it's a true native, uh, a true toad. I don't know what that really means. There's some that pretend to be toads, but this is a toad. It's native to South and mainland Central America, but was introduced to various islands throughout Oceania, the Caribbean, and as well as Northern Australia. The cane toad has poisonous glands and the tadpoles are highly toxic to most animals that ingest them. I can tell you that's about 98% of the animals. There are very few that can eat a cane toad tadpole. Its, to its toxic skin can kill many animals, both wild and domesticated, and cane toads are particularly dangerous to dogs. So. Probably one of the reasons I really dislike them. My little dog Baxter was never interested in them. But Saxon, our new dog, who's still a puppy, when we let him out at night, because they're mainly, mainly out at night, you do see them during the day, but they're prolific at night, he thinks they're his toys to play with and he wants to chase and catch them. They do say that if you catch him with a cane toad in his mouth, you've got to get the hose and really squirt out their mouth. But yes, I dislike them immensely. And before we let Saxon out at night, we have to do a walk of the garden area where he's going and make sure there's none there for him to play with. And we have to catch them and dispose of them. I'll explain what the recommended way of disposing of them is. The common name of this species is from its use against the cane beetle. It was introduced to eradicate the sugarcane beetle, which was damaging the sugarcane crops. It's now considered as pest and invasive species because in most introduced regions, in just about all of them. In 1988, a film, Cane Toads, an 
unnatural history documented the trials and tribulations of introducing introduction of the cane toads into Australia. Now, if I can find a link that um, we're allowed to look at that, I'll put it in the description below. Following the apparent success of cane toads in eating beetles, threatening the sugarcane plantations of Puerto Rico and the fruitful introduction into Hawaii and the Philippines, a strong push was made for the cane toad to be released in Australia to negate the pest ravaging the Queensland cane fields. As a result, 102 toads were collected from Hawaii and brought to Australia. Queensland, the, Queensland's sugar scientists released the toads into the cane fields in August 1935. After this initial release, the Commonwealth Department of Health decided to ban the future introductions while a study was conducted into feeding habits of the toad. The study was completed in 1936 and the ban was lifted when large-scale releases were undertaken in March 1937. 62,000 toadlets have been released into the wild. Cane toads have a ferocious appetite. The toads became fairly established in Queensland, increasing in number and extending their range from Northern Territory to New South Wales. And in 2010, they were found on the West Coast in Broome because they breed prolifically and they move great distances. So that's pretty much it. The population of the cane toad is absolutely enormous and the more rain we have I think the more we see of them. Their lifespan is about 11 to 12 years. Now we're encouraged to get rid of them humanely and that way is to collect them in a, and put them in a plastic bag and put them in the freezer overnight and then bury the bodies in the backyard where I bury everybody's body that I get rid of. Um, I don't pick them up, I can't stand it. That's Thing and Reeves' job. I just say there's two there, get rid of them. Um, we have a, a fridge on the back patio, which is basically a beer fridge that has a freezer compartment that's only used to kill the cane toads, believe it or not. There's nothing else kept in there. So yes, why did I make it an annoying pest day? Well, I love to make tea cozies and I decided I would make a cane to toad tea cozy to celebrate annoying pest day for wacky maker do 2022 do you want to see my tea cozy it's big and here he is my cane toad tea cozy Ta -da. look I'll put some pictures of him at the end this is Colin the cane toad He's got his poisonous glands up here and his lumps on his back. Uh, yes, he was a lot of work. Would I make him again? I don't know. But what I did was to come up with this design is I cheated. I um, subscribed to Tea Cozy Folk. I like her patterns. I bought three or four and she had a pattern of a frog. It's a paid for pattern. And it was Reeves who suggested, why don't I just make it a cane toad? It has a few similar features to a frog, but it has more lumps on its back and it's a bit more ugly and the colors. Now, I actually did start this tea cozy last year and I was doing the chest different and I didn't like it because I thought it doesn't look like a cane toad. There it's legs, it's sitting down with its big feet. And there's his beady eyes looking at you. Oh. I used um, Stylecraft Special Double Knit DK from UK. And originally I was just doing his chest in the camel color, which made him look like a frog. Cause when you see the pictures of cane toads in the wild, you realize they're not like that. So then I used the sandstone and camel together for the chest and then just the sandstone for the rest of him. So there you have it. What do you think to Colin the cane toad? Is he good enough 
to go in a local tea cozy competition what do you reckon let me know in the comments below if you think I should enter him into the local tea cozy competition in July also let me know in the comments if you have a really annoying pest you dislike in your area and celebrate it on March the 26th with me the reason I'm laughing is March the 26th is my wedding anniversary today Thing and I have been married 45 years and he's the other annoying pest today because the first thing he says to me every wedding anniversary is how many life sentences do I have to serve before I get parole? 45 years today, we have been been together while married. We were together two years before that. But yes, we're celebrating it with Colin, the cane toad. They, the boys love it. Reeves said it turned out great. He exactly how he envisioned I would do it. But there you have it. My wacky maker do for March the 26th. I hope Laura thinks it's funny and you guys enjoy this. And I hope you join us and have a wacky maker do day. Stay well, take care, bye for now.